Hello everyone, today we are going to fly to the moon with our cargo mission. We are using our biggest rocket that we have designed in Kerbal Space Program. It's capable of getting 150 tons to lunar transfer orbit. The plan is to retrieve rare metals and exotic minerals that we have mined uh, at the moon in our uh, lunar base. And uh, we are going to uh, retrieve over 80 tons of resources back to carbon. Now we have reached the orbit of carbon. We are preparing for the uh, burn to the moon. And we have a separation of the cargo vessel and fine-tuning the orbit. Cargo vessel is using two Wolfhound engines because of their great efficiency and the tanks are 5 meter in diameter. Now we are doing the inclination change to get the better approach for the base. Now I'm plotting the main landing burn, it will cancel most of uh, our orbital speed and it will also guide us uh, straight to the base. And by the way, uh, the idea behind this mission is to uh, check if it's possible to earn um, enough money uh, in this way uh, because I'm planning uh, a crude uh, jewel mission so I will need uh, a lot of funds for it. Now I'm adjusting the thrust very carefully to land as close to the base as possible. I was getting quite severe lag near the base, uh, so it wasn't making the landing uh, easier. I've managed to land quite close to the base, but I've decided to also use powerful RCS thrusters to get even closer. Now we can see how massive the lander is comparing to the base, uh, but uh, it had to be so big because we really needed a lot of fuel uh, to get all those resources back to carbon. Jeffrey Kerman, the base uh, engineer, is using some Kerbal attachment system parts uh, to connect uh, the cargo vessel with the base and transfer uh, all the uh, resources. Then he detaches the parts again and put them back to the storage. Transfer is finished, so it's time to launch uh, back to Kerbin. The launch mass of the vessel is over 170 tons and about uh, half of it uh, is uh, our precious cargo. The ship is using the inflatable heat shield to protect itself from the re-entry and it will pass the atmosphere twice before landing. We are now performing our first error braking. It will bring us down to low carbon orbit. Then we will raise our periapsis over the atmosphere and we'll wait for the Kerbal Space Center uh, to be as uh, close to our trajectory as possible. It is quite important uh, to uh, aim as uh, close to uh, KSC as possible because uh, the closer we are, the more uh, money we'll get uh, from our cargo.
uh, this vessel, when fully loaded, has to land uh, on the sea for water to cash in and uh, a final impact. The mission ended up as a great success and the uh, recovery of exotic minerals and rare metals uh, earned uh, over 2.3 million funds. And uh, even we, when we subtract the costs uh, of the mission, which was uh, 750,000, uh, I ended up with uh, 1.6 million pounds of uh, net income. Thank you all of you for watching. If you liked it, uh, please press like and subscribe. And see you all uh, in my next video.